Okay, I have a 1973 142 Volvo, and I am converting from the manual fan with fan clutch to an electronic fan. I picked up a 16-inch fan that can be a push or a pull. I've mounted it, taking the front cover plate off. So if you look, this cover plate is right on top here. I removed it have plenty of room and access to mount the 16 inch fan it uses these little nylon retaining goes through there you snap a little clip on it looks like that has a wiring harness uh, there's a blue and a black wire it depends on whether you want to push the air through or pull the air through you can switch it around uh, I've chosen to push the air through um, the radiator so it'll all be nice and hidden. I've removed the existing fan, so I'll put some bolts back on there and tighten that up. There'll be no fan. Pretty simple to wire. Ground. Hot wire running over to a relay, which I mounted off of the headlight relay. Same screw. There's a yellow wire, uh, which is a power wire. goes over to the positive. I put a 30-amp fuse in line. Then there is a... Um, there's two other wires. I don't know if you can see them. There's a orange wire and a gray wire are over here I run the orange wire to the positive side of the coil used a little small adapter that I got there's a little box of little electrical adapters um, used one that you can connect two spades onto one terminal um, connected it there what that is is that powers up when I turn the ignition on so when I turn the ignition on there's power there sends it to the relay and then the gray wire I'm going to wire into the temperature sensor on the back of the cylinder head. So this is the gray wire. It will get wired over and will run down and connect to, uh, there's a water sensor down there, I'll wire it there. Now, if I didn't want to connect it to the wiring, I'm sorry, to the water sensor, I could connect it to a, a switch where I could turn it on and off whenever I wanted to. Right now, it is set to come on whenever the car starts. So when the car's running, the fan is on. Um, once connected to the sensor, it will only come on when the sensor reaches uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 185, 190, 90 degrees. Um, they've given me an additional, with the kit, uh, additional sensor um, right here. Looks like this, looks like it fits a couple different sizes. Um, haven't figured out if there's a place yet that I could install that. Anyway, that's it. Um, once it's done, I will fire it up and show you guys the rest.